Okay, it is time now for Truth or Fake here on France 34. I'm joined in the studio by James Creedon. Hello, James. Hi, Tom. A video has been circulating on various social media platforms and it claims the show attempts by the Ukrainian army to enroll uh, young recruits by force. Uh, tell us more about this. So it's a video that's been in particular on Telegram and Twitter uh, since about the 15th of June, getting lots and lots of shares. And uh, the video, um, I'll play it for you. We, this is uh, one example of a, 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 a version of it that has been circulating. And now what you see uh, is uh, m men in army fatigues approaching a, a youth and then giving chase. And this kind of goes on for about 40, 40 seconds or so in, in the video. And uh, there are various other soldiers in, in the video as well. And you can see that he's sort of being at one point sort of cornered at the entrance uh, to a building there. And this is a, a video that, is, as, as I said, has had multiple, multiple shares. And often this is how it's being explained. Ukrainian recruitment officers keep trying to kidnap civilians in the streets. And then it's even in French as well, uh, just underneath. So the, the implication being there that this is in a bid to recruit um, members for, I suppose, the overstretched Ukrainian army and that it's being done uh, not as an invitation or not even as a kind of a formal enrollment, but by force. And uh, so that's the claim. And it's, okay. it's been quite widespread. All right, so sort of a press ganging. Mm. Um, there are indications, though, that this video wasn't even filmed perhaps in Ukraine. That's right. So our observers team have been looking at some of the details. Um, we'll, we'll get to them in a second. There are visual cues suggesting that this, this wasn't actually in Ukraine at all. But for perhaps most crucially in the comments section be beneath uh, the, several of the videos as they were shared, a lot of people were sort of coming in. And that's actually one place you can really, it's worth checking the comments in suspect videos because a lot of people will put up the information to correct uh, a, a false a false claim. In any case, uh, I, this took place actually in Sochi, in, in a hotel complex, and actually a reverse image search also done by our uh, observers uh, team and Arthur Bamas takes you to a video originally published on the 18th of May 2020 on V Contact. So it took place in Sochi, which is of course the southern resort city in, in Russia, and there are visual cues there to show uh, that uh, the, in the video details that you can see there are actually exactly the same as the Velvet Seasons complex uh, in Sochi. So we know pretty much with absolute certainty that this video took place in Sochi, it, 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 in, in, in Russia, not in Ukraine. We also can be pretty certain that this was the 18th of May 2020, so before the current Ukraine con conflict. And also, if you want further proof, uh, this is a, a comparison of uh, the, the army fatigues, and that is uh, they are Russian, uh, Rosgardia. In any case, uh, it's, I suppose, proof, if, if you need it, uh, further proof, that a lot of the information that is circulating online regarding the Ukraine, Ukraine conflict is uh, part of an information war. What are the motivations for people putting up in, in, in content like this? It could, be, it could be coming from one side or the other. It could be to discredit claims that there are, you know, that there's kind of shady business going on within the Ukrainian army. We do know that the Azov regiment and others are far from entirely respectable. Uh, there have also been claims uh, that Russian, the, the Russian army has been kidnapping youths and using them as sort of human shields in various instances. So these, these claims are flying back and forth, some of them more credible than others. Uh, and certainly this is one instance where we can surgically sort of point to this particular claim and say that it's completely false. But... Uh, that's in the nature of the current context of an information war, I suppose, as well as an actual war in Ukraine. Okay, well, thank you very much indeed for that. James Creedon with today's Thanks, edition. Tom.